गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एम्पियर्स सर्किट लॉ यू आर फैमिलियर विथ सच टाइप ऑफ लॉ इन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वेर वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस दैट ई डॉट डी एल इज इक्वल्स टू सिग्मा क्यू डिवाइड बाई एफ सेलोन जीरो सेम इज ट्रू फॉर अवर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी डॉट डी एल इज इक्वल्स टू म्यू जीरो इन टू आई एज यू वॉन्ट टू स्टेट दिस एम्पियर सर्किट लॉ इट इज कॉल एज अ इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड पासिंग थ्रू सम ऑफ द स्मॉल सेगमेंट is directly proportional to permeability of a vacuum and current so this is the same rule instead of a electric field we will place that magnetic field instead of a sum of the current we will just make sure that it is a sum of the current as well so this was sum of the charge sum of the current here we have a permittivity of a vacuum instead of that we have a permeability of a vacuum so there is no difference part you were just uh, calling this one as a gauss's law and right now we have just mentioned this one as ampere circuit law you can also call it this one as a gauss's law for the magnetic field so first of all we are just solving this part integration of b dot dl so i am just opening this bracket or dot notation so b dl cos theta is equals to mu 0 into i you are aware that theta would be 90 that is the ideal condition so we may state that uh, integration b dl and cos 0 is 1 that is called as a mu 0 into i so this is the very perfect condition we have for uh, our ampere circuit law you can say that if there is a integration dl integration dl is called as a small length segment l and you can say that i have just shown that a circular ring so l is called as a integration dl is called as l is converted into 2 pi r so i can have a b multiply by 2 pi r into mu 0 into i so i am just putting this equation so my equation is ready mu 0 i divided by 2 pi r if i am just multiplying in terms of 2 so it may give me mu 0 into 2 i divided by 4 pi r so this is also the same equation for the magnetic field uh, you can use any expression but uh, first of all ampere circuit law may give you either three values either your component of a magnetic field let's say current is passing in this part you can say that if current is passing in this much segment it may be its a component will be either tangential uh, either theta will be you can say in this expression if i am putting the theta equals to 0 instead of theta equals to pi by 2 that is called as a zero so there would be no ampere circuit law no magnetic flux so it may either give you perpendicular component and the third one is that either it may give you zero values so only three cases can be possible or existing either your magnetic field can be uh, magnetic fields component might be tangential perpendicular component or maybe zero no other case may exist so to understand this ampere circuit law better i have just mentioned that there is called as a cylindrical wire from that our current is passing and i have mentioned one point p i have mentioned it's a limit that is called as r and another point that is called as a small r so first of all i am just uh, assuming that this point p is uh, let's say somehow small r distance away so small r right now is greater than capital r so what i will do is that uh, first of all i am mentioning that b multiply by 2 pi r into z, mu 0 into i so i may have that is called as a mu 0 i Uh, divided by 2 pi r what i am very much interested into that is called as a mu 0 and uh, i is okay that is direct proportion current is increasing magnetic field is also increasing but as your distance is increasing your magnetic field is decreasing so you can assume that whenever your current is passing and uh, if you are going away from your current carrying conductor your magnetic field's value is gradually decreasing let's say i am assuming another point let's say r equals to r it means at this point it would be maximum value you can get so i am putting that at this point magnetic field is maximum then third point i have that is called as a small r you can see that very smaller part r is uh, less than capital r there are two chances first either your current is passing through it or either your current would not be passing from it if your current is passing from it then and then we can conclude it or find it it out if there is no current passing because it is also an assumed ring and that is called as a hollow ring 
that is why i can say that if my current is uniformly distributed over this ring then we can calculate this formula otherwise our current is not supposed to pass from this l part then it can be zero so we are assuming that our current is uniformly distributed so r is less than capital r so first of all my current will be changing i dash equals to i multiply by pi r square divided by pi capital r square so i can have i dash is equals to i into r square divided by capital r square this is called as our current passing from the small area small r and capital r now i am using my notation that is called as a b and uh, dl is called as a 2 pi r i am talking about this much small r part and my current is called as i dash into mu zero ideally speaking that instead of mu zero you can use mu because we are talking about our material and that is called as made up of a conductor so instead of a mu zero i can use that uh, uh, mu only and that is called as a mu into i dash so you can use any one b is equals to i dash s value is called as a i r square divided by capital r square multiply by uh, mu zero is there or mu is there and uh, that is called as a 2 pi r uh, now after conversion i have i into mu or mu zero and that is r r square into 2 pi so you can see that b is directly proportional to r so you can say that whenever my current is uniformly distributed and current is passing from it so i can have my relationship of magnetic field which is directly proportional or uh, when it has been having the same distribution continuously and small r and capital r both are equal for the universe or you can say a, uh, a proper distribution of current my magnetic field is maximum and i am going away from my current carrying conductor my magnetic field is decreasing so i can draw appropriate graph for, for it let's say initially from the internal part on the surface and outside part so i can say that b is directly proportional to r this is the surface i can just say that r equals to r you can just join this part and it will give you that initial magnetic field b naught and uh, my magnetic field is inversely proportional to my current carrying conductor so b is 1 upon r square so this much straight line for the internal part this one for the surface and this is going to be inverse part uh, very first thing you can conclude over here is that uh, whenever your current carrying conductor would be there your magnetic field is keep on increasing directly but as you are going away from that your current is gradually decreasing and when there would be a no current your magnetic field will be zero so this is the primary intro introduction of your uh, ampere's circuit law uh, in a next clip we will discuss about our uh, uh, solenoid and toroid at that time we will also use this formula so hope you may have uh, gone through such type of data thank you